Hi guys and welcome back to Chips Green World. You join us on a hot, hot, hot one. In today's vlog, we're going to be turning, hopefully, this broken pot into a work of art. Hi and welcome back to Chips Green World. I'm Chip. This is the courtyard. That's good. Flower. That's Gypsy Boy. The work. The jobs. Join us on our adventures. Let's get to work. Right, first thing we'll do is slow it right down after that very enthusiastic intro from Chippy there. Cheers, Chip. Now on to the job of the day. This is the pot that we're going to be turning into this apparently work of art. Mm, can't wait. Right, so I've marked it at the back where I'm going to be cutting it down because it's slightly too long. Let's go in here beside the font so I don't want it to stick out and block the path. And when it's planted it will protrude another 15 inches at least and this is what we're going to plant it in so we're going to adapt this pot to fit inside this pot but upright and then we're going to tailor it at the front so it's about two inches off the ground right now on to cutting and i'm going to use an old pair of pincers for this and sadly the camera wasn't rolling so it was all missed sorry about that folks all right just catching at the bottom of each side so I'm gonna have to trim that off then why I've got the angle grinder out take it off the bottom Surely it must be coffee break time by now. Right, coffee break time. Right, why we let the dust settle on that, let's go and have a little look in the garden, see what's going on. First thing we come across is Spud looking very disapproving of my noise in the shed. Not happy at all. Sat under the apple tree in the shade. It's a bit of a hot one today for her. Now I get to enjoy my coffee, watching the bees. If you're wanting more bees in the garden, plant a big blue or sea holly as its other known name. I think you count about eight on here today. And it also comes in white. I think it's called white glitter, if I remember rightly. Well, if that's not your cup of tea, maybe a bit of lavender. The bees are all over the lavender today. Right, enough of that not so chippy, let's get these pebbles moved. Extremely exciting. Let's skip this bit. Yes, please. <laughs> right, so there we go, all in place. Now just to dress it a bit. Bit of terracotta pot to the side, make it look natural and grounded. A few pebbles around the edge. That's a bit too much chippy, take them away. Thank you. Add in a couple of more pebbles. Right, so now to fit the pot that we cut down especially to fit. Make sure it's secure. And then place the pebbles around it to keep it in place. Dress it a bit at the sides. Right, so I'm pleased with that. And now time for the compost. I'm going to pack this quite tightly in and it's going to be on a 45 degree angle. I don't want it to wash away. And I will be adding gravel and pebbles around it once it's planted to stop that happening. Right, let's start planting. Start at the top and work your way down. The first one is the Weeping Jenny. I'm putting three Weeping Jennies in and four Calabrocoa Orange Red Eyes. Calabrocoa, or baby petunias as I've nicknamed them. Untangling as we go along. I don't think Jenny's had a comb through here for a while. <laughs> and just a little blast from the past. Take it out and pop it in. Just a little ditty from vlog 10. Planting the courtyard pots. I'll put a link at the end if you're interested in that kind of thing. Right, back to planting. That's the second Jenny going in. 
And now for the third Jenny. That's all the Jenny's done. Right, just one last remaining baby petunia. Then we'll do a bit of tidying up, a bit of dressing, and then we'll have to reevaluate because this is not sitting quite as I hoped it would. So maybe think about it overnight and come back to it in the morning, I think. Right, so let's add them pebbles at the bottom to stop all the soil running away if we get any heavy rain. Right, so I'm quite happy with that. It's coming together now. I just need to really think about grounding the pot a bit more at the back. It's just not lying sitting right. So I'm going to sleep on that and come back to that in the morning. Obviously, you won't have to wait till morning with the powers of editing. You can see it right now. Just give it a nice drink, let it settle in. And then, um, yeah, we'll uh, be back in the morning. Right, next day, and the sun is shining. Is it just me, or does Chippy day, look a bit stern a this morning? He's not a morning a person, more a night owl. Right, so this is where we left off, and this is where I'm going to be planting the fern in between the fonts and the pot. Just to ground the pot a bit more, make it look like it's actually been here for a while. I've dug this fern up from the top garden as uh, it wasn't needed where it was and it wasn't being appreciated so this would be a much better home for it all right that's that in now to put the pebbles back now onto the ivy i've took this ivy also up from the top garden and i've put it in a little pot so it'll just sit amongst the pebbles and that way it won't take over Then just place the pebbles around it. Stop the pot from drying out in the sunshine. Help keep it moist. Now stop being childish, Chippy. It's just the word, moist. <laughs> then it's a case of just really faffing around with it till it looks like it grew here naturally. Right, it's starting to come together now. Now to add some moss as a final touch. Just popping it in little crevices between the pebbles. Finishing touches. Now to give it a nice drink. Give it a good soak in. And for now, that's going to be it. There is going to be a bench placed along this whole length. So a lot of this will be shaded once the bench is fitted and hopefully that will be next week's vlog. So we'll see about that. As I'm still trying to work out the design, but it's also going to be a show bench for my bonsai. Anyway, back to it. This is how it looks coming out into the courtyard from the back door. And then as you're coming down into the courtyard from the top garden, this is how it looks. And anyone who's watched my vlogs in the past should know the word that's coming now. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, so that's it for Chip's Green World this week. Hope you've enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next week. Have a great week, everybody. Bye now. <laughs>